him? And if there's something that stood out to you about him from that meeting? I scared to death of him. <laughs> um, I say behave, but because a lot of times he has to get on me about the way I behave. But uh, when we finally moved over into this building, he was uh, always watering the plants. And I, I learned some things about Craig that I didn't know. But that, that has to be a story for another time. But, but <laughs> Making sure the, uh, the furniture was, was straight and... Uh, I don't want this on camera. No. I hope you're not feminist, but... Anyway, I don't, I, other than that, I'm scared to death of him. I was. He'll probably kill me if that gets on. <laughs> Craig and I really come from opposite ends of the spectrum. I've got this well, quite a bit, quite a few white hairs, head full of hair. Craig doesn't have any hair. So uh, now, which is the best to have? I, I really don't know, but he's the one that started the bank. When Craig first came to me and talked about the, the new model, we call it the different model of banking, uh, certainly there was no guarantee that this would work. So I enthusiastically joined Craig at that point to uh, start uh, the, discussing the formation of a new bank. And uh, shortly thereafter, I asked Craig, well, how much... Uh, how much capital do you think we should raise? Or how, do we have to raise a certain amount of capital? $10 million enough? Oh no, $10 million isn't enough. We need to raise at least $20 million. And so people in the community, particularly a banker or two, said there was no way in heck we could raise $20 million in Chattanooga to start a new bank. So we set out and we raised $35 million and then had $11 million on a waiting list. He put together a group of seven other organizers who quickly raised over $35 million to capitalize the bank, at the time the largest capital raise in the state of Tennessee. Capital Mark opened its doors in March 2007 to serve the needs of successful businesses and individuals who required personalized services and who were traditionally underserved by larger institutions. To that end, the Capital Mark that Holly built maintains a unique model providing clients with a single point of contact, a banker team. The teams are comprised of experienced in-market bankers who are committed to delivering expertise and superior service, maintaining a client-centric approach, and creating an environment where banking is made simple and easy. Craig talked about uh, what he was doing and uh, the, the, the people he, he had, uh, his board members that he had gotten already, which was a great group of board members. And we talked a little bit about what his vision was and what he wanted to do with the bank. He talked about wanting to have uh, one banker, uh, one point of entry, uh, which is how we have always done business. And I was very uh, intrigued with that idea and very, very happy to hear that idea because coming from the regional bank, that, that's not the way they usually operate. And, and, and Craig having that vision I thought was, was, was great. He had a simple yet compelling vision empower bankers with the ability to make immediate decisions for clients. No more waiting or wondering whether the boss miles away would approve this loan or that line of credit. That power would lie in the hands of the bankers, individuals with years of experience. He envisioned providing clients with the personalized one-on-one -on -one service they wanted, as well as the attention and expertise they expected from their banker. I have just always been impressed with Craig's hard work, um, his attention to detail, and most of all his ability to, I think, motivate and um, share his vision or his ideas with others and, and get them excited about it. He certainly did that with me when we talked about the bank. You know, it was kind of a, not kind of, it was a very different kind of banking idea and model. And when we talked about it, I thought, you know, that's how I would like to bank. Craig's style is to inspire individuals um, to pull together as a group, as a unit, as a team, to be able to accomplish the goals that we set as an organization. Um, and 
He understands everybody's um, talents and strengths, and um, he has a unique ability to be able to manage individually as well as a group. The most amazing thing to me about Craig is how everything he touches is successful, and I think one of the things that makes him be successful is his ability to take people from different cultures, different mindsets, different skills, and mesh them together and put them together in a way that is magic. It's been a tremendous success in just five short years. The bank now exceeds over $700 million in total assets and is one of the top performing banks of over 170 new banks that opened across the nation in 2007. Today, Capital Mark has a successful Knoxville operation and will be opening offices in Cleveland and Oak Ridge. It's amazing what's been accomplished at Capital Mark over the last five years. It's boggling the mind how much we've grown and how well we've done and how closely we've stuck to our model and, and uh, satisfied our customers. It's amazing for me to think about what we might be doing in the next five years if we've accomplished that much already. Holly is married to Terry McRae, and they have two children, Anne Elizabeth, 21, a senior at the University of Alabama, and Sarah, 17, who will be attending Auburn University in the fall. Craig and Terry have been involved in every community in which they have lived, and it was Holly's commitment as the Huntsville United Way campaign chairman that required him to travel to Huntsville weekly following his 1999 return to Chattanooga to run meetings until the successful campaign was completed. Holly serves on numerous boards and has led many fundraising campaigns. In addition to chairing the Huntsville United Way campaign, he did it again in Chattanooga in 2003, raising over $11 million as campaign chair for the United Way campaign of Greater Chattanooga. Craig and I began working together in 2003. He was my, actually my first campaign chair after my appointment as president of United Way. Uh, Craig is passionate about United Way and very committed to giving to this community and has uh, demonstrated that as all the years I've known him. When I think of leaders and managers, uh, the best ones, in my opinion, are the ones that have strong ethics and principles. And now Craig's not one to sit down with you and say, okay, here are my guiding principles for life. But you know his, his, his ethics are strong, you know his values are strong by his behavior, by his work ethic, his commitment to responsibility, and just the way he treats people. He and Terry chaired the Community Kitchen Fast Day campaign and the Siskins Children's Institute Star Night in 2001. In addition, they chaired the Allied Arts campaign in 2011. We were fortunate uh, at Allied Arts in that having Craig and Terry as a team uh, was incredibly powerful. Uh, they each have their own uh, skill set, their own style, but they complement each other so well. Uh, their, uh, their effectiveness in uh, working with uh, an individual or working with a, a group of volunteers uh, was amazing and uh, they care so deeply about this uh, community and they've demonstrated that in so many different ways. It's, it's, really, uh, it, it's really pretty cool to watch. He currently serves as the treasurer of the Hunter Museum and on the boards of the United Way, Siskin Children's Institute and is a member of the UTC College of Business Advisory Board. Holly is a member of the Chattanooga Area Chamber of Commerce and served on the transition committee to select the new Chamber of Commerce CEO. He is also a member of the Downtown Rotary Club. Craig's a lot of fun to work with. It's important to note that he's an Auburn grad and I'm a Bama grad, and, and Terry's a Bama grad, so we're in the majority. And uh, uh, we've always thought of the Auburn folks as one of these. And uh, I had to tread a little bit lightly on that, but that said, I think it's just a, a little glimpse or a little taste of how he has fun with people. And, and I think that that is um, uh, an important part of, 
being a good manager, being a good leader, is to, is to be able to judge that. He has uh, uncanny judgment. You know, when I think of, of a great leader, I think of a, a few characteristics. I think of someone who provides vision for the enterprise. I think of somebody who gets the right people on the bus and puts them in the right seats. I think of somebody who helps the group set goals and aligns the goals uh, with the organization and also aligns the incentives so everybody's pulling in the same direction. And then I think once you've kind of set that platform, the, uh, the role of the leader is to support his people in whatever endeavor they're involved with and to be their cheerleader. And really as I think about those characteristics, Craig Holly embodies all those. These are truly hard times in terms of what our economy uh, looks like. And it was during that period of time that Craig Holly decided to start a bank. Now, starting a bank is tough anytime. But to start it in bleak economic conditions, I've got to think, would be a very difficult thing to do. I think it takes a lot of vision for somebody to do that. I think it takes a lot of courage for somebody to do that. And it certainly takes the uh, planning to the next level when you're trying to put together something that is a main part of the financial world in a period where the financial world is in chaos. But Craig Holly did that. And he started this, this bank, Capital Mark Bank. And it has now taken its place, I think, amongst the other financial institutions in this city as being a major contributor to our economy and a major player going forward.